Okay, now we're going to start learning how to do 3D. We need to set up our screen. Right now, this is drafting an annotation. This is what we've been using all year. We need to come to the bottom of the screen, and you see the little gear right here? It says Workspace Switching. We're going to click on this, and you're going to see we're in drafting an annotation. What we want to come down to is not 3D Basics, but 3D Modeling. So we're going to do this, and now check to see how it changed up. You see how the actual toolbar, this is the ribbons, has changed. Now, a couple of things. You should see over here two little areas, and if I highlight them like this, it's actually going to pop up. I want those to be there all the time. So let's switch that up so it's easy to see. In your screen anywhere, right-click and go down to Options. You're going to see this come up. And I'd like you to go ahead and click on the one that says Display tab. Then I'd like you to come here to Colors. Now, what this is, is Uniform Background is the screen. We turn that black. We want to come down to Viewport Controls. Now, when we click on Viewport Controls, look how it says it's black. So black on black, you're not going to be able to see it. So we're going to hold this down, and we're going to pick a color you can see. You can go to white, yellow. I prefer yellow. It stands out a little bit more, so I can choose yellow. And notice, it's showing it right here. And I'm going to tell it to apply and close. And then I'm going to tell it to apply. Once I tell it OK, you're going to see we have this area here. Now, some real basic things for you to know about 3D is you're going to be drawing totally with not just X and Y, but we're adding the Z to it. So these here are very important, and let's just start out with something simple. I'm going to go ahead and put us in the paper layer. This is a non-print layer we have set up, and I'm just going to draw a sheet of paper. Now presently, I'm just drawing it. There's our sheet of paper. Look right here. It's telling us we're in the top view. All right? Now, if I hold down the word top, this is what it's going to do. It's like we're looking on the top of it, and if we click to the bottom, it's exactly the same, but we're looking up at it. If we look from the left side, see this line? It's like we threw the piece of paper on the table. So we will see that with the left, the right, the front, the back. You're going to see a line. And notice there's our X, Y. But this is where you need to look. This southwest, southeast, northeast, northwest. I like drawing in the southeast. Basically, when I click this, look at that. It actually looks like someone threw a sheet of paper on your tabletop and you're standing up over it. So that's where we're going to be drawing. So this is our southeast isometric. Now, the next thing that's very important is this right here, our UCS. This is our X, our Y, and our Z. We have to be very careful because we can only draw on the X and Y. So right now, we really would not be able to draw on this sheet of paper. Let's watch this so you can understand what's going on. This UCS has nothing to do with this area here. This area here is exactly how you're going to be drawing. This is your sheet of paper. This is where the UCS changes. And as we come through and we change these different ones, you can see the UCS is moving and turning around. That's the important feature. So let's save this off now, and we will start on the next.